Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the process of adding a Thing link to an It's Learning page. Here I have my Thing link. I'm going to come up to my three dots here. I'm going to select Share. I'm going to embed my Thing link into my It's Learning page. For It's Learning, we need iframe, so I'm going to select my iframe. And then I'm going to just double check that my height and my width of my thing link are going to fit within the body of my text or my content block within its learning. Um, we've figured out that a content block typically is about um, the width of 1200, so you want to keep your thing link probably under the width of 1200. So for me, I know that this is a good size, and I'm going to say copy. And now I'm going to go over to my It's Learning page and I'm ready to add a content block for my thing link. And when I select add a content block, I'm going to add rich content. I'm going to get my block a title. And then once I um, come down into my content block, I'm going to select source. Notice that once I select source, all of my other options gray out. I'm going to put my cursor in the body of the content block. I'm going to right click. I'm going to paste. There is that iframe content that we copied from ThingLink. I'm going to select source again. And then for those of you that would like to center your ThingLink, if I just select my box, it turns blue. I can use my text alignment to center and then select OK. And now my thing link is active on my It's Learning page. And so now the content has been brought in so the students can interact with the content directly through It's Learning.